11th month, 1977, HJ45. And I'm gonna enjoy doing a walk around on this one. It's got quite the story to tell. Anthony, the owner, has told me all about it. Now, he's had it. This is 1977. His mate bought it. His mate put very little Ks on it. And actually, Anthony put the first 7,000 on it. And then Anthony bought it off his mate. So he's had it since the 70s and owns it today. Dailies it today. It's a tradie. It's his, it's his office inside. We'll have a look at that. Carty's tools. This thing has done 2 million Ks. She's a little tired. But the first motor, it had done, uh, it was a H, it had done 1.2 million, just over 1.2 million Ks. He's killed it, so now it's got the 2H, and while he was there, he did the 5 speed as well. And that motor's done on 800,000, and, um, and that's why she's a little tired. She's done big, big Ks, and no doubt it wasn't a new motor when he put it in. But that's not why it's here, it is at Mr. Land Cruiser Yard for the disc brake upgrade. So it already got the five speed, but now it stops really nice. We put the uh, the, the later 40 series disc brakes on there and um, upgrade the booster and she is ready to leave us. We've actually, we're gonna do a few little other things. As I say, she's tired. We're gonna do a few other little things to it. Um, gonna change the diaphragm and tweak it a little bit because it's gotta drive back up the range up to Toowoomba. But let's take a look at the outside. We'll start up the front. Again, he's a tradie. He's got the uh, the vice up the front and um, jerry can holders. It looks like uh, some homemade recovery points up there. The whole bull bar. Look at it. She's homemade. It's a beauty. And underneath, we've got this has. Well, I'll start with the tray and the chassis. The the chassis is extended. Um, she is a long vehicle, so this 